Uh, the task to automate here was to take um, these foam inserts and to essentially place uh, one of the Allen keys into each of the slots here. So we have a two millimeter Allen key, a 2.5 millimeter Allen key, a four millimeter Allen key, a five millimeter Allen key, and a Torx uh, uh, key to insert into the foam. After that, we take the foam, put it back onto the other conveyor belt, and send it onto the next station. So I decided to separate the field of view into five different squares. Um, each square is meant for one of the Allen key sizes. Um, after that, I used the wrist camera to identify the location of the part and the orientation of the part. Um, I also used two different camera locates uh, for each part uh, because the part can be uh, either a J or an L, essentially. Um, so they each have a certain position that they need to be placed into the foam. So if they're not in the correct orientation, um, I'll pick it up, uh, flip it using the V-block over here, and then I'll be able to place it into the foam correctly. Um, the biggest struggle was uh, trying to figure out uh, what was the best way of using logic within the program to be able to uh, take into account all the different possibilities of having uh, no Allen keys in the field of view for the camera to see and having to go pick uh, Allen keys out of the bins. Um, if I fail to pick Allen keys out of the bins, what do I do in that case? Um, and also having to deal with uh, all the different possibilities of having the Allen keys being on the right side up or flip flipped over on the wrong side as well. Um, so it's just a lot of programming to be able to get all of it done. I'm using the force torque sensor uh, when I'm doing blind uh, bin picking. So uh, essentially the, uh, play, the robot will go uh, to a position just above the, the Allen keys within the bowls. Um, and I use the fine surface uh, node to be able to move the robot downwards in the Z axis until it feels a uh, force of 10 Newtons, uh, basically identifying the top of the, of the stack. Um, so once the, once the 10 Newtons uh, requirement has been, uh, has been met, um, that means that uh, I've, the robot has identified the top of the stack and then I'll close the gripper onto the Allen keys to be able to pick some out and put them in the field of view so that the camera can then uh, find the Allen keys and place them into the trays.